and Jericho gets handcuffs, and they handcuff Adam Cole to the ropes, and they're giving him a beating as Britt Baker is being forced to watch. The women are holding Britt. They're beating on this guy. And at this point, I'm like, no, this is a great angle. Just a great, simple angle. But then hmm. Daniel Garcia gets this kendo stick, and he gives it to Jericho. And Jericho's got this kendo stick, and he's just going to bean Adam Cole right in his concussed head, hmm. coming back from a concussion. And he's going to just end this guy. And Adam Cole's like, come on, just do it. But then Jericho turns, and he gave that fucking stick to Soraya. And it's like one of those moments where you fucking didn't see it coming, but as soon as he gave that stick oh, yeah. to Soraya, yeah. you were like, holy shit. That's when it all of a sudden became fucking awesome. And she takes this stick and she starts fucking whacking Britt Baker right in the middle of Pittsburgh. She's pounding on Britt Baker with this fucking cane. Adam Cole's handcuffed to the ropes. He He's struggling. He can't get to her. She's screaming, Austin! I died. Died inside. And then Jericho and Soraya, these two fuckers, they hugged. This fucking place burned down. I thought this angle was so great. I absolutely, with every ounce of my being, loved this angle. And Cole's in a heap. And he's apologizing to Britt Baker yes. for not being able to save her from this caning. As she's being beaten. Oh, my God. He's begging them to stop. What are you doing? What's your point? Dude, I saw some criticism of this on the internet, and it's like, dude, just go do something else with your life. This wrestling thing is not for you. If you could not see how fucking great this angle was, like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. Melodramatic, I heard, and this and that. Come on. It's fucking pro wrestling. Half, not even half, 99% of the shit that we see in pro wrestling is melodramatic. Are you kidding me? Yes. That's what makes it pro wrestling. Pro wrestling is very rarely supposed to be subtle. It's always like over the top and yes. whatever. This was great. Yes. This was great. This was awesome. This is undeniably awesome. The fans are chanting piece of shit loud. Yes. All yes. of them are chanting at Jericho that he's a piece of shit. Yes. Uh, when this was done, as much as I bitched about the, the outcast program continuing because I've been totally not into it for, for since it started. I've never been into it. But compared to the opening promo... Where Adam uh, or Jungle Adam, Jungle Boy and Darby came out of that much cooler they were going in. This one, a uh, Adam Cole and Jericho went from a fun match to a death match. I want to see that bad now. And I am more interested in Britt versus Soraya than I have been at any point before going into it. Not only that, dude. It wasn't just another painting thing. It's the other thing. It's like, you know, Jericho's he's been a star, but he's he had that period there where, you know, he lost action Andretti. And then he lost to uh, Ricky Starks, and uh, you know he uh, sold like a absolute crazy person to Keith Lee before Keith Lee. You know they did the the thing with uh, Swerve, but like he he'd shown, you know I, I don't want to say that he moved like lower on the card or anything like that, but he was he was doing a lot of jobs, and fucking one angle, and this guy is like, he's just in the stratosphere again, this one angle. And you've been bitching and moaning about this thing with Britt Baker and the outlaw, the outcast or whatever. One fucking angle. And this thing is on fire. So I can't say enough good things about this whole deal. Everybody involved was awesome. The angle was great. The heat was incredible. I mean, it was just great. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Not really? Yeah. Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big think. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
for your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.